This is one of the most disgusting, disturbing, and terrifying comics I've ever seen. It's called Glyceride by Junji Ito, and it's about a family living above a barbecue shop. Disclaimer, this story is very extreme and not for the faint of heart. So the main character Yui and her brother live above the barbecue shop that their father owns. And because there's constantly oil being used, the entire house smells like grease. And soon her brother starts developing a very strange habit. He starts drinking bottles and bottles of cooking oil. And eventually he ends up growing these oil-filled blisters all over his body. But here's where it gets really disturbing. One day he runs out of oil to drink and orders Yui to go get more. And when she refuses, her brother pins her down and squeezes his face. And everything, I mean everything in there, falls onto her. I don't even know if I can show that panel because it's so disgusting and do not look it up if you have tribophobia. But if you think that's the end of the story, it's not, it gets worse. Because the dad, the one who owns the barbecue shop, uses a frying pan to unalive the brother and then serves him to the customers at the barbecue shop. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, Yui starts feeling really sick. And that's when she finds out her father has been secretly feeding her oil while she was asleep. So she can end up just like her brother. But when again she refuses to drink it, her father has to find another way to provide for the customers at the shop. And at this point, their entire house is filled with grease. Even the ceiling is dripping with grease. And one day, Yui finds her father drinking bottles of oil as he's cooking something. And as she looks down, she realizes it's his own leg. And instead of, it's just oil coming out. This is why you should never keep secrets. This story is called Slug Girl by Junji Ito and it's absolutely terrifying. So the main character Yuko is usually really outgoing, but one day out of nowhere she just stops talking. And when she did talk, the words were mumbled and hard to understand. Eventually, it got so bad that she stopped going to school. At this point, her friend came to visit her only to find Yuko lying in her bed with a face mask on. And she wouldn't let anyone go near her, not even her parents. So her friend went home, but she knew that something was terribly wrong with Yuko. And soon she came back to visit again and that's when she found out the truth, which was so much worse than she thought. Yuko's tongue had turned into a giant slug moving around in her mouth. And since she could no longer eat, Yuko became weaker and weaker. But then Yuko's father came up with an idea. He remembered they used to have a lot of slugs in their backyard and the slugs were always afraid of salt. So Yuko's parents bought huge bags of salt and filled their bathtub with it. Then they put Yuko in the bathtub and told her to open her mouth, not knowing that this would have horrifying consequences. Because Yuko didn't come up for a long time. And when her father reached into the bathtub of salt to get her out, only her head came out. As they tried to search for where the rest of her went, they realized her body was still on her but it had shrunk and the slug in her mouth was now wearing her head like a shell. With no other choice, they left Yuko in the backyard, unable to speak and unable to move on her own, crawling around and leaving slime everywhere. But time after time, her parents will still catch a glimpse of her with a terrified look on her face, as the slug carries her head on its back like a shell. Let me explain the story behind one of the most disturbing comics ever made. A Junji Ito story called The Enigma of Amigara Falls. One day, a mysterious earthquake happens in Amigara Mountain in Japan, splitting the mountain in two and revealing holes on the side of the mountain. But this isn't just ordinary holes left by any earthquake. These holes are shaped like people. And all across Japan, people start experiencing something very strange. People start falling into a trance and feeling like they need to come see for themselves. Because somewhere on this mountain is a hole shaped exactly like you almost as if it was made specifically for you. And once you find it, there's nothing that can stop you from trying to go into that hole. As if there's something hypnotic, something pulling people towards these holes, making them search all over the mountain to try to find that one hole that's shaped perfectly for them. So people start disappearing by the masses because they can't stop themselves from going into these human-shaped holes on the mountain. And the holes are also too specifically shaped for any rescue team to follow them, so they just vanish. But of course, that's not all. A while later, a group of climbers find the other side of the holes, but they're not human-shaped anymore. They're these twisted spiral lines that are bent and grotesque. And as the climbers look inside, they see something coming towards them. A strange creature is trying to squeeze through. It's bent and stretched and it's coming closer and closer. But it seems to have glowing white eyes and human teeth. 
This story will make you terrified of ice cream. This is another scary comic by Junji Ito called The Ice Cream Bus and the ending genuinely shocked me. So the main character Tomoki either lives with his mom or his dad depending on the day because his parents are divorced. And in the town they're living in, there's an ice cream bus that comes around every week that all the kids are unusually obsessed with. And this obsession gets more and more intense. Eventually Tomoki even stops eating all other kinds of food and just waits for the ice cream bus. And whenever his father makes him eat dinner, he threatens to go go back to his mom's house so he can have ice cream. Then his father starts noticing something strange. Everywhere Tomoki goes, there's a sticky liquid left behind. So his father decides to go to the ice cream bus the next time it comes around to really see what's going on. But when he gets there, he realizes the kids in town aren't just ordering ice cream. The entire bus is filled with ice cream and they're all in there eating it together. And although he thought their obsession was a little concerning, it wasn't that bad yet. Because soon Tomoki's condition had become worse. The entire house is now covered in that sticky liquid. It's even inside Tomoki's shoes and on the walls. Then Tomoki says his friends from the ice cream bus are coming over. So his father leaves the house. But as soon as he stepped outside, he saw something he could not believe. He saw two other girls who were also at the ice cream bus the day before, but now they're licking themselves. It wasn't until Tomoki's father came back home that he realized how bad the situation was, because he asked Tomoki if his friends were here yet, only to see the same sticky liquid oozing out from underneath the door. Then he saw all of Tomoki's friends had melted and turned into ice cream, and Tomoki was eating the ice cream. Follow for more stories.